Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. Today I want to go through the charging curve of the Ford Mustang Mach-E all-wheel drive extended range. So we have a 97 kilowatt hour battery, 88 kilowatt hours can be used and uh, I charged the car uh, from 8% to 90% at Ionity. I filmed the whole charging session and I made a little graph so we have the charging curve and then I want to compare it to other cars important um, I have no idea what software was on this car maybe Ford already updated this and it's a different charging curve I got the car from a dealership so I hope they keep it uh, keep the car updated it wasn't a 22 um, version it was a 21 version that's what I know so uh, 2021 um, you can see that with the grill um, but uh, um, and also I, I drove my 130 kilometers an hour range test for 260 kilometers and it was 10 degrees that day and sunny. So I don't think the, car, the battery was cold in any way. I think it was the temperature that it needs. Um, uh, but I don't know for sure. I'm not an expert on the on the on on this battery. But also, I uh, mostly when I do my charging test, I drive 130, and then I do the the charging test. And usually, battery is warm for optimum uh, charging. When you do a long, and it's also a, a test when you do a long distance trip. You drive 130, then you charge, so the battery should be warm. But let's go through, look at it, and you will see that it has a few steps. It starts off very quickly going up to 156 kilowatt peak but it goes down extremely fast already here at 14 percent so from 8 to 14 percent it goes down to 111, 112 but it will stay that way for a long time and that's really cool but that the peak power was not very long and and it was just 155 kilowatt for almost 100 kilowatt hour battery that's not so woohoo amazing here um voltage as you can see is around 360 volt that's not very high uh, i don't know where it goes up to but it's a very low voltage good amp though look at that 300 amps and now we're already at 37 38 percent we are on 100 kilowatt it will go down a bit more and then it will do a step down to 72 73 kilowatt um almost here where is it there we go going down look at it going down or oh, 77 was it that yeah at around 50 percent you can see it's now at around 77 uh, kilowatt 76 and it will stay that way till 80 percent which is good so you have those little steps you know when to leave so at 79 to 80 percent it will drop down to 40 uh, kilowatt 44 so you know this is the time to leave but it also stayed with that 44 kilowatt to 95 percent where i charged but i only filmed uh, to 90 percent but you will see at uh, 79 percent yeah we see, see me film uh, fiddling around to look if it's all working because i have this technique as you can see in, that i can film at ionity even with the sun because ionity is very glary so when the sun against you can barely not film it but here i could do it um, because I put something in front of it so the sun doesn't come on it and then I have to put the camera inside uh, but then I'm not sure if I cannot barely can see the camera if it's really filming what I need to see but here we have to st step down to 45 kilowatt 44 43 around that number you can see me lurking what's going on and this will stay that way to 90% Voltage even now is only at 382 volt. I don't even know if it goes up above 400. It doesn't look like it. And we charged in 50 minutes, 72 kilowatt hours. So here we have our charging graph and up here we have the charging power in kilowatt and this is state of uh, charge in percent so like i said it starts up with 156 around there 152 then goes down to 112 very early at 14 percent and then stays around that number but goes down slightly and then here at 47 percent you have that uh, going down to 80 and then even 72 and then the last drop is here at 
80, 79, 80% where it, it stays at 42. So it's a very simple curve, uh, but not that amazing. But let's look at the graph in comparison to other cars. So here we have the same graph and I put the Mach-E very thick here. And then we have other cars. We have in blue, this is the ID3 Pro S or the ID4 Pro, so the 77 kilowatt hour battery, which has a peak of 126 right now. We'll get 135 soon. The red small is the Volvo XC40 that has a weird charging curve, as you can see. Then we have the, what is this, BMW iX3 and we have the Tesla Model Y. And the other cars here have a way smaller battery, so 10-15% smaller battery. But most of them, except for the ID3 in the beginning, are charging faster or have a higher charging power than the Mach E. I mean, look at that. Even the, the, the Volvo XC40 peaks uh, under it a few times, but till around here, 55%, all the others are charging with more power. Then the, the, the Ford Mac, uh, Mustang Mach E is a bit better here in the low, except for the iX3. iX3 charge is amazing. And then it, it goes down with all of them. So the, like I said, charging curve is not great, um, but let's go to the most important graph and that is um, range added over time. So we have range here the range and this is the time in minutes. Same graph with the same cars, but different colors this time. And as you can see, the Mach E, and I took the the the, uh, the um, so I took the kilowatt hours charged, and I put in the consumption that I had at the 130 kilometers an hour uh, range test. But important here is that I, I took a, a, a lower consumption for the Mach E because all the others were tested in the summer, but this was here in spring at 10 degrees, the other at 20 degrees and had summer tires on, Mach-E had winter tires on. So I didn't take the 290 watt hours per kilometer that I had at the test, I took 270. As you can see, it's still underneath all the others with charging, except at around here, where oh no the other way around the, the Volvo XC40 is even is, is oh it, it's true it is higher where is my Mac E yeah, it's this except when we go above uh, the the 35 minutes 37 minutes then it's adding more range than the Volvo XC40 but all the others add more range in t over time I mean that the Model Y is the best here. Uh, the Pro S is good at around here, as you can see, it goes up here, but uh, uh, they're just better. And iX3 is here in the middle. So not so much a range added over time, big battery, not that amazing charging as uh, we hope, but it, it's it's uh, still okay. And, and it's nice that you know, okay, I charge to 79% and then leave. And with my ID3, for example, the curve goes down more and more and more. So there's no point where you say, do I leave now? Or do I charge a few more minutes? It will go down, but not that much. And, and here you just have to, I have to go. <laughs> it's just the charging is for nothing. It takes too much time. Okay. But that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.